What's up everyone, Electronic Search here. I'm outside and we're gonna be getting ready to take apart another vacuum. Well, this isn't another vacuum, this is the first one. It's a Bissell Power Force Helix Turbo. Powerful Helix technology, washable filter, 12 amps from the power lines, wide cleaning path, extra wide. Yeah, definitely better than Dyson. I found this thing sitting out in the alleyway with another one. I think it was a freeze vacuum. I don't know what that was, but I didn't grab it because it didn't have a dump. And right off the bat, no cord whatsoever. So, wonderful. And look at this thing. This thing is so dirty. I'm not even going to bother keeping it. First things first, we're just going to remove some useless plastic we don't need. The back is completely gone. No hose. And it is completely gone. Whatever. The power button, it doesn't even click. Like, it's broken. So this thing won't even turn on. Drop it on the floor here so I can... Look at this spider webs and junk. It's a Bissell. Yeah. Model. That's the model right there. Model. Modella. 120 volts, 60 hertz, 12 amps. Man, 12 amps was big burning your power lines down. Customer care, whatever, US, Canada, all that junk. Household type. <laughs> it would be funny if we did it outside. Type manager. www.bissell.com. And the under is it? Basically not much. Get up. We're gonna pull the motor out of it. So I got some tools here. Flat top screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, pliers just in case I need them. And a catch can for all the screws, because I'm tired of um, screws on the floor. Get on the floor. We're going to start by removing some more useless plastic other than this. HEPA filter. Garbage can. Some more garbage. Might want to be careful. We have a filter. All this plastic. This doesn't come out. Let's take this apart. Actually, there's not much to it. Just this. One screw into the catch can. And we can remove this entire thing. You can see the beautiful motor in there that we're about to remove. Yep. All right, hold on. Pretty sure the screw is stripped. What is wrong with this thing? Like, give me my screwdriver back. Holy cow. Come on. We're gonna do this one. Whoops. Piece of junk. Give me my screwdriver back.
Oh yeah, duh, I have to get rid of these first. It's even the inside is even dirtier than the outside of the dumb vacuum. Okay, let's work on the side kit over here. Sorry for muting the audio, there's just some neighbors here that are just trying to play a game. I don't know why he cannot get out. Like, come on. Like, the, the inside of this vacuum is dirtier than the outside. Like, come on. Literally all rusted. Hopefully it will come out, because it's all rusted. Aha! Alright, other side of time. Alright. Oh wait a second, one more left. Stupid AC fan is super loud. He can't even hear me. All right. All right. The entire belt is all rusted. Like, come on. I'm pretty sure this is a Dirt Devil. It takes a Porlick van because I took apart a Dirt Devil twice. Not even twice, multiple times. This is like the same technique. What if Bissell's, um, well, maybe not, I don't know. I've never owned a Bissell vacuum, nor have found this is my first one. So, yeah. Piece of junk. Motor. Holy cow, look at this junk. Wow, are you kidding me right now? Oh yeah, I forgot. Power. Thing. We're using clips now. Come on. Where's the hot wire? There's another clip on the back. That's why it's not coming out. Cheap plastic. Just comes right out. What even is this? Oh, I see. It's a button. There's the motor. Look at this. Come on, are you kidding me right now? The belt is right there. Cicada shell. Where was this thing sitting? Okay, I'm getting sick and tired of this. Come on. Oh, you piece of junk, like just get out already. The belt is right there. Oh, and I can see the problem why the vacuum doesn't work. The belt is completely ripped. And I can tell why they threw it out. All right, spiders, where are you? Oh, there you are. Can't take this anymore. Oh, stupid latches. There we go. Yeah, again, I can tell why the why the last owners threw the threw the vacuum in the garbage. That's why. Come on, just replace the belt for like five bucks instead of buying a new vacuum. Like, come on. Coat the entire vacuum in this junk. Piece of junk. There. Belt. Bissell belt. Of course. 
Bissell style, some other junk. All right, whatever. Is this a good motor? What do we got? Sniven. Okay. So it activates through a button and this plugs into 120 volts AC. Not sure why why this is rusted. Is this thing wet? Alright, all this is going in the garbage can tomorrow morning. I expected a lot more screws actually. I'm impressed. I should lay this garbage out for the thumbnail shot. Put the motor in there. It may seem like we did nothing until you like the before and after pictures. Alright, some things that I'm going to be keeping is, I kind of wanted to keep the front, this, but I don't know how to get it out, so no thank you. And I wasn't planning to keep anything else other than the belt, but the belt is broken, so no. I'm just going to keep the motor. Thank you, Bissell. Thanks for watching. Bye.